And now, Garden Talk, brought to you by Walter Anderson Nursery, San Diego's independent nursery since 1928. In 1986, then-President Ronald Reagan signed a proclamation making the rose the national flower of the United States of America. And just about anybody who grows flowers has roses growing in their garden. And with almost no interaction or help from us, you can have roses that look like this in the spring. But if you want them to keep growing, keep blooming, and look good for the rest of the year, there's a few things you can do throughout the year to maintain them so that you have beautiful roses almost year round. A couple of things, it takes a lot of energy to produce flowers like this, and so feeding them is a great thing that they need. Ada Perry's Magic Formula for Roses is a proprietary product we have that contains bone meal, iron tonic, soil sulfur, gypsum, and Epsom salts, all the things that your roses need to be strong. We recommend you apply it twice a year. And food, just a regular fertilizer. Grow Power makes great fertilizers that feed your roses and feed the ground as well. One cup per plant per month starting around January and ending in September, October. No more feedings after that. But also, we all seem to have problems with bugs and disease and things like that. There's a couple of products out there that do a great job. One of my favorites for fungus is the Immunox. Immunox does a great job of taking care of the fungus that you see. Uh, black spot, powdery mildew, rust that gets on roses. Use preventively once a month, you may not have to spray any more than that. But if you have fungus problems, spraying twice a month is generally all you'll need to do with a product like this. And if you want to take care of it organically, neem oil is a great, great product. It is, takes care of insects, disease, mites, just about anything that's going to bother your roses. You can use this on there as long as it's not too hot. You don't want to use oil sprays when the temperatures get above about 85 degrees. So if you keep a good feeding schedule, water your plants about twice a month in the summer when they're in the ground and established, you can have beautiful roses most of the year, but I ask you not to cut them. Let them go to sleep in November, December. I'm David Ross. For more information on roses, check out our website, www.walteranderson.com. For Garden Talk, we'll see you next time. Visit Walter Anderson Nursery for all your gardening and outdoor care needs. San Diego's independent nursery since 1928.